Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac and the summer edition of Arts and Times, Delmarva's quarterly arts magazine and community calendar. Painter Helene English never considered a career in art until as a student at Syracuse University, she became disenchanted with her major and took some art class to try something different. I actually worked backwards. Unlike most people who spend a lot of time um, learning how to draw from life, okay, like in high school and things like that, I came into the art scene at the time and everything was like abstract expressionist. So all I needed to do was like, you know, throw colors around. And so I came in from the backwards. <laughs> everything was totally abstract and basically I've gotten more and more representational as I've painted. Sometimes now I really want to go the other way. I still really like to have some abstraction and some shapes. I'm, I'm all about shapes and colors and I like to push that, uh, the positive negative space situation where sometimes it's like, oh yeah, it's easy to see what I'm looking at, but then wait, this looks a little weird or it's to not totally representational because I don't really want to go down that path. For a number of years, Helene and her husband ran a boutique greeting card and stationery company called Fresh Local Cards. I've always tried to keep the commercial type graphic stuff separate from my fine art painting. I'm sure there are things that have subtly crossed over. Well, I mean, design is something I've always been interested in, okay? And when we lived in New York City, one of my jobs was I was a textile designer. So I've always liked patterns and fabric and that type of thing. Um, so design, design has transcended actually all the different things I've done throughout my more professional career. And of course, the printmaking is really design, okay? So I don't really, you know, maybe something subtle has come over into my paintings, but I always try to keep it. But the paintings are more like something that you essentially do for yourself. It is not a commercial you know, I'm not making a painting thinking, oh, I really hope somebody's going to buy this painting because I'm painting X. You know, you just paint things that are come out of your heart and hope that somebody actually likes the same stuff you do. <laughs> Helene has also supplemented her artist income by serving as an adjunct professor at both the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and Salisbury University. Teaching was a wonderful experience for me because it did help me solidify and verbalize a lot of the things I knew but I now had to explain these to students especially design students and then um, you know art appreciation was wonderful I mean you know what you like in art but because you have to teach it now you really have to you have to bone up on all the stuff that you weren't totally sure about or what are the facts on this or then you start exploring more and more because you're just interested and then you want to bring it to the students. So I learned a ton from teaching and I really, uh, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Helene begins each painting with a photograph. I, I don't make up stuff out of my head. That's not the kind of painter I am. And I don't, you know, like have visions or dreams. It's like I, like I, if I have taken a photo, it's because I saw something that I wanted to paint. So I use it as reference. So then I usually make a one or two drawings that are fairly small. I'm like trying to get the layout, trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to eliminate. Because really, a lot of times I eliminate a lot of information. I just, you know, and I just get on there, start to draw right on the canvas. And I usually draw, make, I start the drawing and then I come back in with another color and I draw on top of it and maybe even up to three times to get like what I really want. But after that, I want the painting to just happen. I love to paint big. I wish my studio was bigger uh, so that I had more you know, space to back up and things like that. I do really like to paint big. It's harder but I kind of feel like I grew up in the big art uh, era. <laughs> Bigness is goodness. So it's fun for me to paint big, but it's always, you know, I think for people to 
it seems harder for people to want to commit to a large painting, like a small painting, people will be like, okay, I can put this over here, but a big painting commands attention. But yeah, I, I mean, I do like to paint big, but lately I've been coming down in size a little bit. And... The colors Helene uses in her paintings might be described as true. The greens are greens and the reds are red. I'm all about black and white, okay, which is unlike a lot of other people who are anti-black and white. So black and white is, you know, an abstract concept, you know, in terms of, again, the boldness and the positive negative. Lately, Helene has been concentrating mostly on boats and dogs in her work. I live on the Wicomico River. I've been living here for almost 30 years. So right out my back door, I see it's really not so much boats, but tugboats because tugboats come by and they're awesome. They're so interesting. The colors are all different. And there's been this really big thing that I focused on, which is the reflection. If they come real early in the morning and the water's really, really still, then there's this amazing reflection of this exact boat in the water. I, I just love that. And so I had to, I made some paintings with that concept. The boat paintings are really more about the, um, the whole shape thing, the positive, negative, you know, flattening out of the planes and then in and out of that reality. I focus more on that with the boats, I guess, because they're architectural versus the animals that are really natural and yeah it's, the animals I think have maybe more of a story than the boats so the boats are a little more of um, like I said like a, an abstraction of reality when I first started painting the dogs I had the theme really was dogs and their people so I had the people involved who owned the dogs but I made the dogs bigger uh, than they were in reality. Okay, so in the painting with the people and then the dog, which was really kind of enlarged, enlarged. And you can see how these people and dogs related to each other, which I found really comical in the beginning. Then after a while, I eliminated the people. <laughs> I just had, now I'm just into the dog. I mean, making a painting is work. It's not like, you know, play, and, but if your subject matter is amusing you, that's, you're having a good time. I mean, there's, there's that. I went to the Poodle Show, the Internet, whatever, the Poodle Club of America show that they bring to Salisbury once a year, okay? Uh, because I, I really would love to have, someday I'd like to have like a standard Poodle. So I went there and I started taking pictures because I was like, well, not only is it amazing, it's, there's, it's comical. I mean, it's a combination of amazing and comical because how the people treat their dogs and how the dogs are. So I just started taking lots of photos. They have, you know, like a setup where all the winners of a show, uh, they, they line them all up and then they take professional pictures and they probably try to sell them to the, to the owners. Well, I just happened to turn around and there were all these people just lined up ready for their professional picture. And I was like, Ding! So I got in there and started taking all these pictures and then that's what made me make the one big painting because that is certainly all about the poodles and their people. <laughs> I'm actually right now at a transitional point. I mean, I'm still going to probably paint some of each of these things, dogs and boats, for a little while longer. But I'm also thinking, trying to conjure up what, what else I might need to get interested in it. Sometimes that just takes a while. I can't, you know, it's like I can't force it. I'm just, I'm aware, I'm thinking of things, but yeah, I still, I have another boat painting I'm definitely going to do. Helene's work is represented at Bishop Stock Gallery in Snow Hill, and she'll have a show at the Ocean City Center for the Arts in July 2014. You can also find her work online at ugallery.com slash Helene dash English. Arts and Times is funded by Worcester County Tourism. Explore the beach and beyond at visitworcester.org. Thank you for watching. This has been a Moonshell production.